Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez, and this is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. The Missouri Clean Energy District has announced the first PACE loan in Kansas City. PACE, which stands for Property Assessed Clean Energy, is a loan program which allows building owners to borrow funds for energy efficiency and renewable energy projects that reduce their energy use and utility bills. The loan repayments are made through special property tax assessments. The first loan has been granted to Warnell Plaza Condominiums, an 88-unit complex. The over half a million dollar loan was made possible with qualified energy conservation bonds that were transferred from the city to the Missouri Clean Energy District. The goal of these PACE loans is to help the city achieve the greenhouse gas reduction goals set within the city's climate protection plan, while also creating more local jobs in our community. If you haven't gotten a hold of the Open for Business Casey Streetcar app, be sure to download it today. This new mobile app is helping to promote retail businesses in downtown KC during streetcar construction. This is along the route from Union Station to the River Market. The Open for Business KC Streetcar app is free and available for download onto Android and Apple devices. By shopping and making purchases at participating shops, restaurants, and other attractions, app users may earn points and become eligible to win prizes, including a $5,000 grand prize. For more information about the Open for Business KC Streetcar app, visit kcstreetcar.org. Kansas City Mayor Sly James and members of the City Council join Missouri's Governor and Cerner Executives at a ceremonial groundbreaking for the largest economic development project in the history of the city and even the state. The expansion of Cerner will replace the former Bannister Mall with a large office campus and revitalize South Kansas City with an expected 16,000 new jobs over the next decade. Construction on the first building begins this year. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, here to give you a glimpse of some of the upcoming events taking place for your family at City Facilities during this year's holiday season. The Mecham High Performance Auto Auction rolls into Bartle Hall December 4th through 6th. The Mecham Auction Company is the world leader of collector car, vintage and antique motorcycle and road art sales hosting auctions throughout the United States. The company, which began in 1988 as a family business around the kitchen table, has been specializing in the sale of collector cars for 27 years. All buyers, sellers, and spectators are welcome to attend Meekum's Kansas City 2014 auction. You can go to Meekum.com for additional event information. Motown the Musical comes to the Music Hall December 9th through 14th. It began as One Man's Story, became everyone's music, and is now a Broadway musical. Motown Musical is a true story of Motown founder Barry Gordy's journey from featherweight boxer to the heavyweight music mogul who launched the careers of Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Smokey Robinson, and many more. Motown shattered barriers, shaped our lives, and made us all move to the same beat. Now experience it live on stage in the record-breaking smash hit, Motown the Musical. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.com or at the Municipal Auditorium box office. Come cheer on UMKC's men's and women's basketball during December at the historic and newly renovated Municipal Auditorium. This venue, according to many fans, is the best arena in which to watch basketball. In 2006, the facility replaced the playing court, and in the fall of 2013, a $5 million renovation included upgrades such as new video boards, sound and lighting systems, new seating in the lower level, and more. For ticket information and game dates, go to umkckangaroos.com. To learn more about events taking place at Kansas City's convention and entertainment facilities, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Hi, I'm Kevin LaPointe, the City Forester with the City of Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation Department. And we're out here on a beautiful day in Kessler Park 
over by Lookout Point because we're here to receive an award uh, from the Missouri Department of Conservation on a champion tree. And behind us is the champion Eastern Cottonwood tree in Missouri. This is the largest tree in Missouri as far as champion trees go. And we're here out in the park and this is a, a place that anybody can come and view this beautiful tree. And it's a great example. We have the champion tree list because it helps and reminds us of the, the nature and the beauty of the nature of trees and all the benefits that trees offer. And larger trees, the larger they are, the more benefits they give us. And this tree is a tree that's been here for a long time, gives a huge amount of benefits to us environmentally, and it's a, a, a symbol of the kind of things that uh, historically we have in, in our heritage of trees in the uh, urban forest of Kansas City, Missouri. Hi, I'm Chuck Connor. I'm a community forester with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And the way the Conservation Department's Missouri Champion Tree Program works is it's a point system. And we try to keep track of native or naturalized trees, the biggest one of each species in the state. And the point system is for every inch in circumference around the tree trunk, at four and a half feet off the ground, it gets a point. And then added to that, for every foot in height, it gets a point. And then we take the spread of the crown or the edges of the branches, and we divide that by 0.25. So for basically for every four feet of spread, it gets a point. And then we add those all together. And this tree right now sits at 499 points, almost 500 points. And as Kevin said, it's the largest tree by that point system that we know of right now in the state of Missouri. And we estimated what, Chuck, that it was about 9.1 feet in diameter, 125 feet tall. And, and what was the spread? A on spread that? of 120 feet. 120 foot spread. This yes. is a big tree. It's a big tree. If you like any more information about urban forestry and all that the city does and Parks and Recreation Department does in regards to trees, please visit our website at kcparks.org. The city's fall curbside leaf and brush collection allows residents to leave up to 20 bags or bundles of leaves and brush on their curb for pickup. Did you know that raking up leaves helps prevent clogged stormwater pipes? You are helping prevent backups in your own neighborhoods when you participate in the annual leaf and brush pickup. Residents who live in the city's north zone will receive collection the weeks of November 17th and December 15th. The city's central zone residents will receive their second leaf collection the week of December 1st. And residents who live in the city's south zone will receive their final collection the week of December 8th. To find out more about your pickup day, visit kcmo.gov or check out the latest edition of KC Moore, the city's resident magazine that was recently mailed out. The Neighborhood Advisory Council is seeking candidates for its 2014 election. The 15-member council discusses proposed city policies and programs and makes recommendations to the director of the city's Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department. Advisory council members attend monthly meetings, meet with groups in their regions, and participate in other related events, including public hearings and forums to discuss key issues and receive input on a variety of community matters. Interested residents must apply by Monday, November 24th. Registered neighborhood organizations will then elect candidates to represent their areas. Applications are available by contacting Tiffany Drummer of the Neighborhood and Housing Services Department by calling 816-513-4504. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the weekly report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.